hey, how do you hold a guitar pick? Um, I have my method, and uh, I think it works. I try to hold it on the side of my, uh, I'm right-handed, so it's going to be my right hand on the index finger on the side. So I call the side this surface. Here's, I don't know if that's the front or whatever, or the back, who knows? Nobody knows, but <laughs> the side of my index finger on the first bone. I believe there's three bones in your finger. We'll call it one, two, three. I don't want it on the third bone. It can maybe touch the second bone, primarily on the first bone of your index finger. And uh, you just lay it on there and add the thumb and make this little round figure here and let these fingers out. So what I what I would prefer my students not use two fingers, index and middle or ring. I don't really like middle and ring, but you'll see, you know, some very great guitar players do that. Maybe because they're tapping with their index. Uh, anyway, I have a preference and that's again on the side of the index finger with the thumb. And then also, I don't really like picking a note like this, like, I like to mount my hand on the side of the guitar. Then you can do actually uh, the rest stroke, I believe a rest stroke is where you drop the pick and it touches the next string and rests there. So sometimes my students will, little kids usually, they, they like to, you know, use their arm to pick a single note. Or I think that's just way too much physical motion. And they love to shovel under the string and push out, which gives it, the, of course, the strings slap against the frets and it makes kind of a spiky noise, which, of course, that irritates me. Oh, I'm no fun. Okay, so I tell my students, make your picking hand kind of a straight piece or tool and just lay it on the bridge kind of back here around that uh, if you got an acoustic it's going to be that bridge pin just set this corner of your picking hand on the bridge pin let these fingers touch the pick guard and then you're just all set to um do some picking vert so i think that's more efficient than you know making a fist with your picking hand. I don't like to see a fist. That just seems too much tension. I, I want I want this to be kind of a, a fine tool that's got the detail and control. This just seems too kind of like, I don't know, ham-fisted. I want more precision and lightness. Then you hit the, the note you want. Um, all right. And then, you know, I just don't want your whole right arm flailing, you know, and str strumming or picking from your shoulder just seems like overkill. And I mean, if you're really getting into it and you really need to go crazy, yes. But generally, uh, your forearm is just gonna be, see how my forearm is pretty stable here? I'm not going. You know, it could, sometimes you can, you know, pick up your arm, but generally for simple picking, just boom. Even for strumming, you know.
man, if you can, just nail that bridge. If it's acoustic or electric, it's going to be the same thing. Again, if you need to pick up your hand and, and flail it around and do some different things, that's cool. But this would be kind of like our resting position or maybe, you know, default there. And, you know, from there you can, you've got a good platform that you can do different things. If you want to move up here or different places or, you know, wave to the crowd or get access your controls on your Strat, that's a good place to start. And I ask my students to uh, consider practicing that way. And it makes, then you don't hit the wrong string. You know, if I say, hey, hit your A string, and then you go like, uh, whoops, whoops, uh, uh, whoops. I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. Let's, you can kind of feel it when you're, when you're mounted on the, on the face of the guitar. I can feel, if I close my eyes, I can feel the sixth string, fifth string. Without seeing it, I can feel it and play it correctly. Well, otherwise, you're just kind of like helicoptering overwards and hoping for the best as you carpet bomb your strings, hitting all kinds of wrong notes. <laughs> anyway, you know, I'm just trying to be efficient here and get everybody kind of moving in the same direction, which is uh, like herding squirrels uh, sometimes. But uh, I'm doing my best to... Uh, help people out so they have a good foundation to go forward and uh, enjoy their guitar. That's my motivation. But uh, I, you can tell it kind of bugs me when people hold a pick, like a spoon or a pencil or some sort of a... I don't know what that is, but it should be that. If you can stand it, give it a try. Thank you so much for checking it out and considering uh, following along with a couple of things like that. Thank you. <laughs>